Petro. What's up, Petro? Check it out, buddy. I got a little pothos for you. Let's see what this cherry head does right here. Oh, now he's eating the pothos. Is this okay? Will he be all right? As we end this video, I'm going to give you a really quick sneak peek of the enclosure I'm building. How do I do this? A sneak peek. Oh, my God. Hey, what's going on everyone? Time for an Ask Camp Kevin question. And today we're gonna have Solomon as our little buddy hanging around with us. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the pothos plant. Thank you to our amazing supporters who help to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's special shout out goes to Rainy Parker. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. I got a question recently from one of our Patreon supporters about this plant, wondering whether or not this is okay to feed my reptiles. Now, I'm gonna answer this question right now, but first I wanna make sure I get this question correct because somebody asked it and I wanna give them a shout out. So just give me a second while we watch. Oh, now he's eating the pothos, is this okay? Will he be all right? I'm not 100% sure. No, I'm just kidding, I'm sure. Uh, actually, pothos is safe for this species of reptile, and in fact, many species of reptile. Uh, pothos is actually the staple diet of the monkey tail or Solomon Island skink, which is what we're looking at right now. And basically these guys can eat it until their heart's content without any ill effects. Now, why is pothos poisonous to human beings and other mammals? Well, it's molecular structure. It's got little crystal structures inside of its cells. And basically those structures can really hurt mammalian uh, animals. But for some reason, reptiles have no issues with it at all. And in fact, there's a plant right here called the elephant ear. And I had the mountain tortoises and the redfoots and the cherry heads. They all love to eat it. It has a very similar cellular structure with these crystals uh, that are found in it. And you can eat them up or they can eat them up without any problems. So check it out. The question's from Benjamin Jan from Taiwan. He says, I've mentioned several times about monkey tail skinks eating pothos, but the liquid in pothos uh, is poisonous poisonous to the human. I wonder if my red foot and cherry head can eat it as well. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Well, thanks for asking that question, Benjamin. We have already started to answer it. And in fact, yes, they can is the short answer. And I have been explaining why. Um, many people think that it is poisonous uh, be to reptiles because it's poisonous to human beings, but it's not. So you guys don't really need to worry about it. Um, of course, if you are really concerned about whether or not they can eat this particular variety of plant, uh, as far as your cherry heads and other tortoises, then you could always yield in the direction of caution and not give it to them. I've had it uh, and I've given it to, let's see, I've given it to my cherry heads. These guys are actually eating a little uh, tortoise diet right now. Let's see what they do with the pothos plant. And don't let me forget the fact that I've got a monkey tail over there. I don't want to forget about them. Let's see. I don't even know if these guys are interested in the uh, pothos leaves, but I do notice that none of it is growing on this side of their enclosure, yet it grows over there. So that leads me to believe that these guys have no problems taking a nibble of pothos when it becomes available. Let's see what this cherry head does right here. And again, guys, I'm not concerned at all about these animals getting sick from it. Look at that. They actually like it. Not a problem. Remember, the physiologies are much different when you're dealing with reptiles and mammals. And what these guys are tolerant of, maybe mammals are not. I don't have anything but anecdotal evidence uh, and just the fact that these guys have been eating this stuff for many, many years. So I would, uh, you know, I'm going to say that it's okay. I have heard from other keepers it is absolutely fine. Uh, that it only affects mammals. So look at these guys go. So that's pretty good stuff. Um, I grow this around the property. I grow the elephant ear around the property because this stuff actually, ugh, let's go ahead and see if they want some elephant ear leaf as well. Uh, again, similar cellular structure in there uh, and they love it. They eat it all up. So as you can see, these guys have been growing. They're happy and I've got no issues at all. So the short answer is yes, you may feed your reptiles and your cherry heads this plant. Uh, good old, good old Solomon is looking lovely, don't you think? This is such a beautiful animal. I love the monkey tails. He's got a female in with him, uh, but this guy certainly does love to eat 
uh, pothos and uh, I will let them come out here and graze and get a little snack from time to time or what I'll do is I peel this off the tree or peel it out of the ground and then I just kind of stick it in his enclosure and let him nibble away at it. Uh, in the summertime when they're back out in their full-time enclosure or their summer lodging rather um, I bring it into that uh, by plant. I'll just uh, have a potted plant and I rotate it out as they eat it up. But listen not a problem. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna feed some of this to the rhino Iggy over here who wants to get in on the action. What's up Petro? Check it out buddy, I got a little pothos for you. Again, these guys have no issues with it. Come That's the stem dude, don't eat the stem, eat the leaf. Ah, oh, there you go, he eats it up with glee. So it's not a problem guys, I hope this video makes sense to all of you out there and Benjamin out there in Taiwan, not an issue. So go ahead and feed it to them. Just don't eat it yourself because it would not be very good for a human being. But these guys, no issues. I love it, man. So as you can see, I've got some safety glasses on and I have been working feverishly trying to get ready for a new reptile that is coming to the camp. Um, I'm shooting a whole video on the build of this thing. Uh, I don't want to give it away, but it's gonna be out there. You can so, sort of make it out. It's kind of a cool enclosure. Um, what do you think? Should I give you guys a quick sneak peek? I don't know, oh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I don't know, should I leave him here? Oh boy, would that be the wrong thing to do? I don't know, I, uh, let's bring him with us. Come on with me, dear. And Solomon, I always pick up by the tail. They are, of course, monkey tail skinks. And they can hold on with their tails. Their claws are incredibly sharp. And you see how he flattens out? Because he thinks he's going to fall. I'm holding on to him. They'll flatten out. And this is one of the ways in which they secure themselves or they minimize the risk of getting injured. They flatten out to try and slow down their, their uh, dropping. You know, it's really interesting. And you can think over the years, different animals like the flying lizard and even that flying snake, how it flattens out and concaves its belly to allow it to actually get in there, buddy. Would you go back in? I'll bring you some more uh, pothos, I promise. Okay, I just needed you to do this for me. Come here, bud. Come here. No, that's not that. That's the way we want to go. There he goes. Let's watch his little feet there. Get those claws over there. And now we're back in Adam. All right. So as we end this video, I'm going to give you a really quick sneak peek of um, the enclosure I'm building. It is huge, and it's not even going to be the biggest enclosure. It's for a large lizard, and uh, I've been teasing it all along. You guys can keep guessing but it comes next week. So we'll have a video very soon after that. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna give you guys, how do I do this? A sneak peek, oh my gosh. I mean, I've been working so hard. What if I just do this and go in here and I just point down? Yeah, that'll work. So we're inside the enclosure, as you can see, I've got, I've got some incredible uh, wire there, but I wanted to show you this real quick. Hey, look at that hide box, pretty cool, huh? Pretty stoked on that hide box. So uh, what is gonna live inside that hide box? I don't know, but uh, it's not entirely done yet. Am I being uh, evasive enough? I gotta walk backwards. I hope so. Hey, listen, I hope this video answered a question. I gotta get back to work, people. Man, I stabbed myself in the head. Let's see, okay, I gotta get back to work. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it answered some questions. Pothos, not bad for reptiles, uh, bad for human beings. So uh, don't eat it in your next salad, okay? But you can include a little bit for our reptilian friends. All right, everybody, this is Ken and I'm signing off. As you can see, lots to do. I appreciate everybody following along on the channel. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to learn more about these animals, I'm always happy to have new folks come along for the journey. Okay, thank you. See you later. And as always, why not give you a little taste as we leave of this pond. So long.